So I have three Anona types here. Is the Rolinia Deliciosa, which uh, is a sweet variety, um, but it's not as sweet as the Chirimoya, which unfortunately does not grow very well in this elevation, but it does grow in higher altitude where it's a bit colder. This is the sweetest. And then the most sour, so I'm gonna start with that the sour sop. It's uh, very ripe. So we'll see how it goes. Three Anona types Anona Murakata, and I don't remember the scientific name of that one. So it's very ripe. Usually they're a bit over. I like a small one. So it's, it's not that difficult to finish. And it's cheaper, I guess. Easier to carry. This one I bought for about uh, 250 to eat but fun sweet a little bit of sour very juicy very flavorful so the black seeds are a trait that most anonas have as you will see in the other ones and normally white flesh this one is very juicy so I couldn't even drink all of it the other ones are a bit less juicy, a bit denser. Now I'm going to try this one. The Rodinia, also known as Biriba in some countries. So as you can see, it's got similar looking seeds. Less juicy. Uh, it's a bit less sweet, definitely less sour as well. And the skin is thicker. The classic Chirimoya that most people might be familiar with. And this one is much denser and sweeter than the others. Skin is thin. And there's many other varieties that I don't have here, like the custard apple and sugar apple. And yeah, this is the sweetest and densest. Still pretty juicy. Not much acidity at all, and same black seeds.